Some traders today reported for work opening shops after the lifting of the 42 days of the lockdown by the president last evening. It is the second time that the business persons downtown here are affected by the lockdown. Another lockdown cannot be ruled out with COVID-19 pandemic still raging, yet the numbers of the vaccinated people is a drop in the ocean. It was the first time Ruth Nkanji, a businesswoman at Mukwano Arcade, opened a store in 43 days. She did not get the chance to remove anything at the time the lockdown was enforced. I'm dealing in baby stuff, but some things have expired. Such things, are they have expired debts. Especially those, uh, the Vaseline's, they expire. The liquid stuff of part of it expire. The lingering fear in the minds of the traders surrounds the inability to generate adequate revenue to take care of the bills with nearly two months of business lost. The directives ban the traders from operating in the corridors of the arcades. <laughs> An economist, John Walgembe, says it is about time business persons in the central business district take the decision to relocate to other hubs. The congestion downtown exposes the businesses to closure as authorities enforce social distancing. Hubs are starting to come up. For instance, Chira municipality has more people than Kampala Central. So any trader who is smart needs to target Chira as opposed to getting fixated. Uh, on Kampala. The traders buy the idea of shifting the businesses outside the central business district but say it requires time to implement. If you have some, some, some good money, you can make some side business in the village as well as business in town. If it, the town is affected, then you don't get so much affected as well as a person. <laughs> While Gembe says the malls can be converted into offices. They can be turned into low-cost hotels for tourists. They can be turned into commercial office space that's cheap for young people who are starting. Because now young, young people who are, who are starting businesses have no affordable workspaces. It is deemed important for traders to keep prices at bay in the outskirts of the city to limit consumers from thronging the congested city center. Jackson Onyango. NTV.